everyone, Christopher here from Finco. Today I'm going to show you guys how to configure your Pro header to be a sticky one. So whether you have already a header that you want to configure it to be sticky or you want to add a new header and mark it as a sticky mode, uh, you can just use the points that I make uh, in this video. I installed the Adventure 10 header from the Design Cloud, which you can access from the Pro Design Cloud menu to have a starting point. And I'm going to add a new header of, of this Adventure 10 Design Cloud header. So let's get started and go to Header Builder by going to Pro Headers and add a new header using this use template option and choosing the adventure 10 template let's name it sticky header create okay i'm going to select the header to assign it to a page i assign it to the front page of the website so i can then uh, check it in the front end and then click the edit button to start changing the settings the uh, header the adventure 10 header has two bars the first bar is this top one which contains the logo the navigation and the search and the second bar is this big background and the mm, title and button section the bars can be set as uh, absolute or relative positioning the top bar now the uh, bar one is now uh, is in the absolute positioning mode. That is why the second bar just goes behind the first bar and starts at the same point from the top of the first bar. This is how the uh, absolute positioning works. And you can just see the difference if I go to the bar options in the setup and change the initial position to relative. So now if you check the first bar now, let's change the background color here so you can see the uh, first bar now is at the top and the second bar now is pushed down and starts after the first bar. This is how the relative positioning works. It is important to decide which way you want to work when you want to force the header to be a sticky one. So to make sure that we have a sticky header, we have an option to turn on the sticky only for the bars. And we do not have the sticky option for the containers. So only uh, add the sticky feature into the bars. And to do that, you can use the sticky bar option and turn it on. So now the uh, first bar is in a sticky mode. As you can see, it just sticks at the top of the uh, browser window. And then there are more options available for you when you enable the sticky option. And that is uh, the options that you can see just immediately after the uh, setup control group. Uh, it contains the option to hide uh, the bar initially so if i enable this option you can see that uh, at the beginning of the uh, loading of the page and at the at very top uh, the bar one is hidden and when you scroll down it shows this is another option that is available for you and also you can set to have a margin at the top keep the margins it works when you set it to have an absolute positioning okay here I, it works uh, the other one is to decide when you want to show the sticky header so you can decide to have the header as non-sticky mode and then just enable that after uh, uh, just trigger point which is this trigger selector feature that you can use you can test uh, to see 
any class or ID, HTML ID of your page and decide to show and force the header to be in a sticky mode after that uh, class or ID. Let me show you guys how to do that. This is the front end of the website. I right click and select the inspect uh, menu item to open up the uh, developer toolbar and then I'm going to just see where the content starts for me the content the best way to go forward is this X container class so I just copy this and put it into the selector. The selector acts as a CSS selector. So for a class, you need to add a dot first and then the selector itself. Now, if I save and reload the page, you're going to see that uh, at the beginning, uh, the uh, top bar is not in a sticky mode so it is uh, normal mode in normal mode but as soon as I reach uh, the container that I just added in the trigger point it shows so this is how you can decide to show your sticky uh, header uh, if you want and there is another option called trigger offset that you uh, can use to even uh, delay the showing of the sticky mode further after the trigger point. So if I, for example, add 400 here and just save the header and reload the page, you're going to see that uh, even after the uh, section of the page that I added as a trigger reaches it does not show the header and it goes 400 pixels more and then just shows the result so you can even delay more uh, or even less if you want to add uh, uh, just for example minus 300 to uh, trigger the sticky feature and finally I want to show you guys the uh, shrink amount which you can use the shrink amount is now uh, set to 1 so the top uh, bar header will not shrink and will have the same uh, header uh, height that you see with the non sticky mode but if I for example change it to 65 percent 0.65 and then just reload the page you're gonna see that the sticky mode is now uh, narrower and the height is uh, just smaller I let's uh, make sure that it triggers just right after the loading of the page so you will see the difference of the height immediately here is how you can just change the height of the uh, first bar in the sticky mode so this is guys how to set up the sticky mode and you can just add more sticky options if you want for the other bars or keep uh, one sticky and one not and uh, just play with the options and have uh, great designs using uh, Pro Header Builder in the sticky mode. Thank you everyone and talk to you soon.